Okay, folks, what we have here is a cutaway of a standard safety relief valve. First, I'd like to show you the parts. As you can see, this orange piece right here all the way up that threads into the body is the nozzle. That has one happier seating surface. Here as I, is a ring which helps control your blowdown. This gray piece here correctly is called the disc holder. The disc, which is inside of there, is your second half of your seating surface. It makes contact with the top of the nozzle and that's what seals. The green piece here is a standard guide. There's a gasket. These yellow, two yellow portions right here are referred to as spring steps. The red, you can see the coiled spring. The screw portion right in here is called your compression screw. That is what will set the spring tension which will control the set point of this valve. The light bluish color here is a lock nut. Once you have it set, this lock nut will hold the spring, the compression screw in place. In a relief valve in the system what happens is pressure comes in up into the nozzle and builds up. Once the pressure in the system exceeds the spring pressure, this valve will lift and it will come out the discharge port allowing pressure to relieve itself and then reseat once pressure is back to normal. Some of the things you must always realize about a relief valve. The inlet, which is referred to where the pressure comes in through the nozzle, will always be smaller than the outlet discharge. That is so the pressure can bleed off faster, controlling the problem, and reseat. The ring, as I spoke to, we'll get into more, helps set a surface area to allow how much and how fast the discharge will go. Other than that, the main portions are the body of the valve, the bonnet of the valve, and the cap. I did not talk about it because it's very difficult to see, but you have your spindle. In a normal valve, that would be the stem, but in a relief valve, it's called a spindle. Some of the main things to realize about the spindle is there is a bearing surface on the spindle which matches up with the lower spring washer. The top washer has a bearing surface which matches up with the bearing surface of the compression screw. It is a good practice to always gray those in to know that you have good contact. And basically that's all there really is to a relief valve. Uh,